Okay, well, we have uh, Dr. D.K. Gupta, in fact, joining us live at this point. Dr. D.K. Gupta, uh, you know, just, just inform our viewers about the new recovery protocols of this new variant. This new variant has new symptoms. Uh, it also has, of course, uh, uh, you know, a new uh, gestation period. So what are the new recovery uh, protocols, the new testing protocols with regards to this variant? And after how long can people be safe to venture out? I think this is a great question. I would like to know that the incubation period or gestation period is two to five days average. And normally it can extend up to 14 days. Means if you got infected, you can be asymptomatic up to 14 days also. And 90% of people they can be symptomatic within five to seven days only. So like if you are asymptomatic also, then you can be infected and you can transmit the infection. That is one point. Second point, if you are already infected and your result is positive, Either it is RT PCR or it's a red test. Both positive, like any of these tests positive is considered as positive, and it means you need to be in isolation for minimum seven to ten days, ideally seven days. And if symptoms are persisting, then you need not to uh, move out. Then you have to be fully recovered at least seven days after recovery. You can go out. Okay, uh, and and in fact, uh, Doctor uh, Diki Gupta. You know, there are many other questions as well. Uh, do negative home tests survive, suffice? Or if uh, someone has tested negative and they still have symptoms, should they get an RT-PCR test? What is the testing protocol that you would like to advise us? Very good question. If you are having influenza-like symptoms like cough, cold, sore throat, and dryness in mouth or fatigue, fever, these are all influenza-like illness. And if these are there, then it, it is proven that you are most probably COVID patient until and unless ruled otherwise. Means you can go for the screening test, that is the antigen test. If it is negative, then you have to go for RT-PCR again. If it is positive, then you are positive, you need not to do RT-PCR. And if it is negative, then you have to do RT-PCR. RT-PCR can come positive or negative. If it is positive, then you are positive and you have to go in isolation and get the treatment. If it is negative and you are still symptomatic, you should consider repeat RT-PCR test with the advice of your doctor. Means sometimes 30% RT-PCR test can be negative because of several steps in that process of RT-PCR. Means it can be there can be inaccurate sample collection or sample collection process was not uh, good or there can be contamination of sample or report, reporting error also. It means if means if you are symptomatic, then repeat RT-PCR test can be done because of. 30% false negative test also. Still, it is positive or negative, depends upon that, then in can go. If you are still negative again, and if you are symptomatic, then you should be in quarantine, and you should use all COVID approved behavior till you are asymptomatic. You can move out from your home only if you are asymptomatic at least five to seven days after that. Right, uh, Dr. D.K. Gupta, stay with us.